direção. to today's video it is our last video from Japan you're really gonna enjoy it this is a really good one it's one of my favorites from the series I want to let you guys know that tonight by 12 o'clock tonight this video goes out at 8 p.m. GMT by 12 midnight tonight you can pick up the last of our drift games Christmas mystery boxes 250 euros worth which includes two entries to our giveaway for the red PS 13 that's coming December 27th in a box of so 250 euros in a box worth only 150 euros you so it's good value We've got the last few available. If you want one under your tree for this Christmas and you want a guarantee that's gonna be posted to you this Christmas, get on it tonight. It is our last night to do it. All right, let's go back to Japan and back to the video. All right guys, we are back on the hunt in Yokohama for some of the coolest drift shops in Japan. And I think we found one. You're gonna know all about it in a couple of moments, but a very legendary driver has allowed us to come and check out his personal drift car collection. And we're gonna get our minds blown very, very quickly. Let's go. Okay, so we're here with our boy Rohab, and Rohab's been helping me out a lot on this trip because he got uh, me the Orc 7 to drive all the way to Daigo's. You've been translating some stuff for us, and we need it because we don't know what's going on most of the time. Well, hello guys, my name is Rohab Khan. I'm from our nation, and we buy and sell cars, and we have been translating for Dave out here in Japan. Uh, by the way, just for the record, that was my wife's Orc 7. If I say it's mine, you're in trouble. Yeah, I'll be in trouble. trouble. <laughs> Thank you, Monique. We've been trying to explore these small garages yeah. that have built such legendary cars that we've been watching in D1 and Foreign Drift Japan for years and years and years. Yeah. And this is one. So this is Kunis, right? This is Kunis, yes. And this is a legendary driver from back in the day. So this is Takahashi Kuniyaki san. Uh, that's been doing D1 GP since ages ago. And for one reason he's famous for is these cars. There he is, the man himself. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Welcome to Kunis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We've been watching him drive for so many years, so many different cars. Uh, when did he start drifting? 35 So he says he started drifting 35 years ago. Yes. Wow. Long time. So he started with simple cars on the streets, I guess? Yeah, yeah. yeah. of course. He started in the streets before the, the main circuits were built, before doing competition. D1 was 2002. In 2002, he started doing D1 GP. Before that, it was all streets and... What was his first D1 GP car? JZX 100 Chaser. JZX 100 Chaser. So has he always driven four-door drift cars? For his entire 35 years. No. No. 18歳の時は、20歳の時に180。Uh, when he was 20 years old, he drove a 180. And then once he got to the JZXs, it was stayed with JZXs forever. No, that's it. That was the end for that him. Was the end for him. <laughs> so he's very famous for this car, right? So this is the Mark X. So this is an unusual car for us. I've never seen a drift car like this in the flesh. So why did he choose a Mark X to, to be his drift car, his pro drift car? He says nobody's ever dri driven these cars, so that's why it was appealing for him to do something different. Oh, makes perfect sense. So can he explain to us the spec on this car? What, what is the, the most unique parts of this car? Big car. Number one, he says mm -hmm. it's bigger than JZX chassis, so that's uh, an appealing point to him. Engine mo, eh, ma, two J da kedo, eh, nande daro na. JZX no kao ga mo furuk kanji da ne, furui. Old style tebe no. Hi. So he says that yes, it has a JZ, but more than just the engine and transmission, he feels like the face is different. So that's what that that just made it different for him, and basically. Is yeah. the most speed. So the engine spec on this car is 2JZ? Yeah. 2JZ with a lot of power. Look at that. 
スペック教えてくださいそのおーストローカーキットは RSE の 3.4 so 3.4 ストローカーキット and power is like I assume a lot 900 900 horsepower wow so it's different for us in Europe is that they retain a lot of the、uh, standard、yes. metal from the car so in Europe this is But here, this is kept. Why do they keep、uh, this area here just for weather or rain? Or... When he was competing in D1、uh, in the regulations, you cannot cut the, this part.、Ah, okay. Now you can. Ima wa? Ima wa. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right now, you can cut these parts.、Though. So this was regulation reasons? Because、yes. that was something I was wondering at D1 why there w a s so many stock panels left on the car. Because in Europe, everything from the strut here is tube f r a m e だ2年ぐらい前に日本も切っていいようになったと思う。It's been only two years since、uh, in Japan you can cut these in D1GP。そんなもんだよな、2年前だよな。Very cool. And the,、um, so、the angle kit on this car is custom? サスペンション、ロアアームとかはノーマル。ナックルはオリジナル。クニーズ、ナックル、クニーズ、ロアアーム、ナックル、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロアアーム、クニーズ、ロア Close on this, this chassis, which makes the engine、uh, tight. So, what is the transmission?、Uh, Hollinger transmission. Hollinger transmission and the rear end differential? Standard. Standard <laughs> differential. <laughs> For 900、yeah. horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they're great, but. It's worth it, he says. Okay, standard transmission can take 900 horsepower. That's pretty impressive. That's crazy. And does he build all the cars here in house? So, only the roll cage and the chassis itself, he、uh, outsourced, but everything else he made in house. So, he made all of his cars here、yes. in this. And the shed is quite small. Yeah. So, it's、uh, and everything in Japan. It's the space tight. is, is yeah. tight, yeah. but able to make everything work in this space, which is amazing. Something I've noticed on a lot of the famous cars, the D1 cars, is these stickers on the back window. So, these are all from different series and different championships. 2020. Round two, Suzuka winner. The one in Suzuka. Round winner. One in Ibisu. Yes. No, oh, so, Nanda? Sorora, Tanso. Tanso, uh, uh Solo qualified. Sorora, you show. She is usual. Overall, all series champion. So, and then you have winner at uh, Autopol- uh, Autopolis. Autopolis. All the words, yes, yes, yes. Strange yes, yes. word in English. And then 2012 champion. Yes. yes. 2014、Solo. champion. Yeah. A lot of champions. There's a lot of champions. So, two, two time champion? No, for Solo,、uh, Solo Ram.、Ah, this Solo is a qualifier run for the、yeah. series.、Ah, okay. So, he has won 2014 D1 GP championship. Yes. I wanted those stickers one day. <laughs> this is what you want, r u s e one of these stickers、cool. on the back window. This is very cool. So, the car has. This does not happen in Europe, where the car has the history of. On the car.、Too. On the car. So, I like this. You can actually see on the car how many. Uh, successes it's had. It's a very cool touch. Something、yeah. we should change, really, shouldn't it? Yeah, we, I think we should add a few things. We should, yeah,、stickers. we should get some stickers and Driftmasters、yeah. for when you win, you can put it on the car. Yeah,、That's、we just、right. might have to go a few years back. It's not that many years, so it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Just give us some stickers. 2012. But、um, that's very, very cool. I want to actually have a look inside this car, too,、yeah. to, to see. There we go. <laughs> Sitting in the 2014 D1 GP Championship winning car, so as a drift fan, this is a super cool. It's a Max Arido steering wheel. This is very, like, even、um, inside, it's very clean, it's very nice. Nice roll cage. This is a cool car. It feels a little bit like our Verosa inside, but a little bit cleaner than that. And then they have like the old school buttons, look. That's very good. And the defogger for the windscreen. The handbrake is like super old school. Look at that. Like, look how close that is to the、mm. dashboard. Very、um, old style. But I guess it works really well. But it's amazing how like, st- it looks, still looks quite stock. Like, the dashboard、right. and stuff is still、right. quite stock. Streetish. Yeah, it's almost like a streetcar, which is very cool.、And、then, all the look at these names. So, so cool. And he has support from Gior because this is obviously a Mark X Toyota, which is、yeah. a modern Toyota. So, 
uh, Toyota support drifting in Japan, which is so cool that they actually get behind the drivers that drive their chassis. So I really, really think that's amazing because not many manufacturers, including Nissan right now, that don't care too much about who does what, but it's nice to see Toyota still have an interest in their motorsport heritage, which is amazing. Here I am just in the middle of Yokohama sitting in a D1 winning car. It's wild. This trip has been wild. Like it's been really wild. I'm happy. I think I just want to sit here for the night. But it wouldn't be a very interesting video. <laughs> yeah, I'm riding through the city with the top down, with the type of energy that you can't knock down. It's that time of the year we will not from telling all my enemies that they should calm down. Whoa. And this car is JZX 100. Mm. This is a pro like a practice car, or is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, practice car. It's a very nice uh, practice <laughs> car. So what is the spec on this car? Tunnel 1J. It's a stock 1J. OS no uh, it has an OS sequential transmission in it, but other than that, it's kind of stock. So. Well, GCG, right? GCG turbo uh, mm. kit installed. Power is how much? Yeah, 450. And pushing about 450. This is the this is the recipe. Yep. <laughs> this is what I love back home. Stock 1J, bigger turbo, and all the bolt-ons, and it's 450 reliable. My kind of thing. You have one of these <laughs> in your S15. And what is this uh, body kit? My company, Kunitz. So yeah. Kunitz makes this body kit. Yeah. So this is unique to his company. Yes. So Kunitz, they have their own website. They uh, they sell body kits for JZXs. Shilbia mo uttemas. Ichion to ga aru. S14 Silvias. They make body kits for those as well. You have one, so maybe. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll have. A, we'll have a conversation. Then is the body kit on the Mark X custom? Yes. Yeah. Mm. This is also. Oh, over fender, right? Yeah. Oh, but only over fenders. Everything else is stock. Mm. Ah, okay. It's a good looking car. California in my soul. Whoa. So we have Bruce's here. So I have to bring you in for a bit here because there's a good story in this, right? <laughs> so this is the guy that inspired you to drift. Yes. Back in like when I was kids. So when you were a kid, you saw him drifting. So you're, he's to blame. <laughs> yes, he, for me, he's very legend guy because he made like whole Kanagawa like a part of Japan. Like uh, he made a lot of story mm -hmm. about street drifting and mm -hmm. also he created a lot of cool stuff in D1. Mm -hmm. So like we for so respect him for him. So he's an, <laughs> an inspiration. Yes. Hontoni? <laughs> <laughs> he meant seriously? <laughs> when I was kids. Uh, I only know the drifting team called Nightwalkers because that's the that's the hugest team and coolest team for us like uh, from back in days like 20 years ago. I found the sticker right over here so this is it. This is a legendary team, street team. Yes. Which is they used to you have. back in the day. And this was uh, this was the coolest thing. And a great performance. We want to thank Mr. Ueno and everybody that everybody came out here for an awesome night at the street races. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I was living in the building. Yeah. And I like every weekend I saw from the window there's a lot of drifting cars standing yeah. like on the weekend. Yeah. And like I was watching, like I was looking because I was so interested about what's going on. So like I come up, see the cool cars, and one day uh, I ask uh, the guy mm. that. Uh, can I hop into the passenger? Mm. The guy say yes. You're welcome. At seven years of age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One day, my mind switch into drifting yeah. from that day. And he hasn't like, stopped yet. Yeah. But I ask him, but he say he doesn't remember, and he say it's not me. But <laughs> for me, for me, it's him. And the time was like so many cars. Nightwalkers team, they used to have like six, seven JZX100 chasers, Mark IIs, and they were all candy red, yes. I believe. And they used to just go out like a, like a team to go street drifting and wow. all this, like togays and... I don't know if you have any cars on the road, but I He says that he just remembers doing the, the Oifto, the, the, you know, you guys have it on a set of Corsa, doing all the, the Tandem, I guess, tandem train tandems with all those cars, and then, and the last car would be a cop car chasing them at some times, and <laughs> yeah, and just escaping from that. So that would just 
be really cool. Still find some stuff, cool stuff. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> the sun like blinds me really bad. My eyes are really tired, sleepy. But hey, you know what? Just hearing the sound of exhaust kind of wakes me up. Slightly questionably legal stuff from back in the day. Yeah. Which is very cool. So he inspired you and his team inspired you to yes. be a, basically a drifter. So this yes. is like a whole, so he's like old school D1, you're like new school D1, right? Yeah. So it's like the generations. Mm -hmm. So you were what age when you saw him drifting? Seven years old. Yeah, that was like Shogakko oh. Ichinense. From then I've been watching him like uh, for a long time. And, and does he uh, understand how much of an influence he's had on all of these other guys drifting? <laughs> well, he says he doesn't know if it's a good influence or a bad influence so far. <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> he's doing really he's good in D1, so I guess it's a good influence. So it's crazy. So. You start on the streets, you eventually go to D1. Then when you're on the streets, you inspire a kid who eventually goes to D1. So that's a good story, right? A really good story of uh, how it all comes around. Okay, so he says that at the time he started drifting, you couldn't, you weren't allowed to drift on circuits because you would damage the circuits. So at that time, it was streets or Tokyo was the only option. But right now, you're not allowed to drive on the streets. So it's kind of the opposite now. Mm. Oh, okay, I so. see. This is a very rare sticker I guess right yes. so this is something that we will bring back mm. to Ireland and it's a big pressure where to put this it's pressure yeah <laughs> I'm gonna appreciate pressure. it forever so thank you so thank you so I much for, for showing us yeah. your cars it was yeah. lovely to meet you yeah. and um, yeah amazing spot another garage another small garage on a back street in, in Yokohama that has so much history which is uh, really cool yeah. so I'm Got all oh, like like 2014 series D1 champion so you can see that up there Lucas he, Wow, so he, we got a D1 champion, another D1 champion. How many champions have we met this trip? It's crazy. <laughs> but uh, it's amazing to see that he is still working on cars, building cars, drifting. And I just love how everything we've grown up admiring from D1. Mm. It's just still in these small little sheds and everybody's still kind of very humble and to the core. So it's very, very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Luke's going to get some killer B-roll. We're going to head on to the next spot. Do we need cash for this too? Oh, we have some. It's okay. Oh. We have enough. No way. I'll take card again. Analog guy. Okay. Everything is so analog. I still use fax to do in order. No. And still. Fax? Yeah, we printer. Jesus Christ. Every morning, fax. Why? I don't know. Maurice is here and he's getting some funky drinks. What you get? What's this? It's a green tea. Green tea? Strange thing to get from there. Here, look, I love this stuff. This is vitamin. It's like a pink lemonade. That's pretty nice. The tea. You love the milk tea. Love the milk tea. What's up, G? I just washed my hands. All right, all right. Hello, Randy. Hello, Randy. Hello, Randy. Hello, Randy. Hello, Randy. Hello. I like the jacket. Thank you, buddy. I should have brought mine because it is cold. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Don't worry. It's warm here. All right, so have you guys been here before? No. Oh, get ready. Because I'm going a, I'm to a ram your walls. That's not how you say it. Wait, that's not how you say it? How do you say it? <laughs> I'ma put it in you. <laughs> that's not how you say no? it. No? Um, oh. oh. I'ma run it down your back. 
<laughs> so uh, we've obviously here, if you're still here, the channel has somehow survived that demonetization. <laughs> so uh, thank you for joining us. <laughs> we're, on, we're on the other side now. <laughs> the American in it comes out every now and again. Kind of pick up your elbow. Is that elbow? Another. There we go. Good job, Dave. Hit one. We come back here. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so we're taking a little break to come to a place called Big Bang Karting, which is like a drift track. So you get to do some drift karting. And it's quite cool because they have a full on GT car in their place. Cool spot, Lucas. We come here quite often. Drift cars and big bang, and we're gonna go and bang doors. Hurry up, Habibi. It's simple fun, but it's so much fun. A lot of crashing, a lot of wall running, a lot of door running. What up, everybody? our Japan series we fly tomorrow back to Ireland and this is the perfect place to finish here in front of the madness of Daikoku Foto our last little, little stop before we go home we hope you guys have enjoyed this series we got to finally see one of the crazy Lamborghinis with the strobes and the chrome and all the rhinestones in the headlights um, yeah just take it all in Japanese car culture is alive and well we are here to check out just one last little piece before we go home Lucas is gonna be on the b-roll we're gonna to put together a nice little montage, and this is Japan. What is the guy saying? What is he saying? To you? He said, "Go home." <laughs> Please, you guys, go home. Oh. So we wanted to end the video at Daikoku, but we went for a little spin and. Uh, what I've noticed on this trip is that anywhere you go, you could be just not paying attention. Like anywhere else in the world, you know you're going to a car show, you know you're going to somewhere to see cars. Very rarely will you see amazing things randomly. Like this. Just chilling in the car park, beside the waterfront. Two of the most beautiful S-bodies I've ever seen. Yeah. I'm riding through the city with the top down With the type of energy that you can't knock down It's that time of the year we will not frown Telling all my enemies that they should calm down Whoa. This one all stands out on Advance Look how good that looks And then the Koki S14 on BBS's And as a guy that loves S-Bodies and I've 
driven an S-Body and a Bisu. We've been to all the famous tuning shops. We've been all over Japan in the last two weeks. We hope you guys have enjoyed the content. But to uh, finish it up here on the waterfront in front of this and this, this is like the ultimate finish to the trip for me. It's been amazing. It's been awesome. Um, definitely mind-blowing. It's given me so many ideas. We've made so many connections. We networked with so many different companies here in Japan. We have big plans for 24, which involves some things in Japan. I shouldn't really be saying that, but if you've stuck around to the end of the video, then you're a true fan. So you get a little teaser of what's coming up next year. Back to Ireland next. A lot of big business to go down in the next month to get ready for the biggest season we've ever done at Drift Games. Um, I can't even believe some of the plans we have for next year, but you got to stick around for them. And until then, from somewhere random in Yokohama with two of the coolest cars I've ever seen. It's Dave signing out from Japan. See you back in Ireland. Whoa, 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 whoa. California in my soul. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sunshine and snow when it's falling like whoa, 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 whoa. California in my soul. Whoa. So